Hey guys, welcome to my um, how to roleplay in Oblivion Part 2. So, first thing is, let's see, only make potions when you are in a quiet place, like in the evening when you're in the inn, and in the inn. You sit down, bring up your inventory, your mortar and pestle, you know, just make potions or whatever. And then the second thing of, that goes along with that is to actually take your potions. Well, this is actually just a preference for me. I actually like to name my potions because I, like, I rather than just like restore fatigue, then I would like or let's let's take this restore endurance normally if it, a potion would be called restore endurance that's not a good name at all so I would take either cheap or standard or whatever it is depending on the quality of the po uh, potion and then I would give it something cool like standard potion of I can't think of it. Uh, motivation. Because it's your endurance. So, I don't know. Something, just have fun with the names. I think that's more fun than just spamming potions. But that's just my opinion. Okay. So, next thing is when you're here at the inn or whatever, your bed, then don't sleep with your armor on. Um, I like to carry around extra, like just sackcloth pants or whatever. Wow, that my person looks weird. Anyway, um, yeah, actually sleep with normal clothes on. I'm just sleeping for 13 hours, it's random time. Um, let's see, I have a lot of stuff to say. back on real quick. Okay. Another thing that goes along with not sleeping with your armor on, I may have said that in the last video, but don't swim with your armor on either, because in real life that would weigh you down a lot. And, okay. So here's our example. Say you have your sword out and you want to switch to your bow. Instead of just going boom like that and switching, actually put away your weapon, switch and pull out your new weapon. Otherwise it sort of keeps putting away the weapon. Good to see. Okay. The next thing is don't check the time. Like if you hit Z, or sorry, your wait key, then it tells you the time right there. Or if you go to your map page and it tells you the time right there. Don't do that, just judge by the time. Because in in Oblivion they wouldn't have watches or clocks or anything like that. Clocks, there we go. <clears throat> One thing you could do, but I you could turn off the music so when you're going through the wilderness, then if an enemy is coming up behind you, then you wouldn't know it, and you'd be surprised when they attack you really quick. But I personally really like the music in this game, so I wouldn't. I'm not going to do that. But it's up to you. Okay, one second. Okay. Another thing is to only repair your armor at an anvil. There aren't a whole lot in around that I well there are there are a lot, but they're not like oh there's an anvil right there on the side of the road. So they usually have them in armor shops. Some people have them in their homes, but I wouldn't just barge into someone's home and use their anvil because well, that'd be weird. But anyway, so 
with the only making potions like at night, just do it like sometime when you're like in a quiet place or whatever. Because you wouldn't be like, well, you might be walking through the wilderness and then pull out your missile or your pork. Never mind. <clears throat> pull out your mortar and pestle. There we go. You might do that. I don't know. Um, another thing is when you're here with your bow and you've got it pulled back, don't run around because, I don't know, you could, I guess, but to me that just doesn't seem even very role playing a lot. I feel like people, would, once they have their bow, they're like aiming so they walk, but that's just my personal opinion. It's just one of the ideas. Okay. And another thing that sort of goes along with that is turning off the crosshair. So if you do that, it makes it a little bit more challenging to aim with your bow. But the other thing is when you're looting, there's no hand in the center of the screen to tell you whether what you're doing is legal or not, which is a big thing for me that I don't like. And also, if you've got like, these two mushrooms, then you don't, you can tell which one you're picking by the lower right hand corner and by just knowing which one you're pointed at, but it's a little bit more of a pain. Okay. And okay, so you've got your sword out. Don't hold block the whole time, then uh, when an enemy's attacking you and you're waiting for them to attack you, then don't just hold block, because that's sort of... You could, but I, I feel like the uh, a person would sooner parry with a sword. Especially a sword, short sword. Maybe a claymore, but just sort of like parry right as they attack you. They don't have it in this game, but I'm pretty sure in Skyrim I heard that they are coming out with the ability to parry. And then you will be able to stun your enemy in get the jump on him. And let's see. Don't loot someone's clothing when you've killed them. Say you're going along and find a bandit. Oh, hey, 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 come on now. There's no need to get violent. Oh, I just realized he's a quest character. Never mind. Um So you kill a bandit. Don't loot his clothes, because that's not very decent. Just if you want to loot his clothes, take ev you can take whatever, except for the shirt and pants. Unless it's a guy, then you can take the shirt. But let's see. Okay, here's another thing. If you want, I mean, we not every. To. I don't know how religions are in the world, but you could, if you really wanted to, like take. I don't know, meat or something, or some sort of alchemical ingredient, put it at the altar, and pretend that's your offering, if you want. Greetings. In your miscellaneous items, most items are useless, you know, like brooms and calipers and inkwells and all that, but if you want what you could do, I don't have it here, but you could keep an inkwell and a quill in your inventory. There's a quill. Um, in your inventory and pretend in some parchment and pretend that that's your journal that you write in right here. <coughs> well, another thing you could do with instead of parchment is you could. If you're on PC, I'm not sure, I haven't done this myself, but I, fe uh, I feel like you could mod in with the Elder Scrolls construction set, a journal, and just like name it My Journal or something, your journal, and then go put it in the world somewhere and go pick it up, just so you have a realistic extra weight there, but it's up to you. And along with that, um, you could set a weight limit for yourself. Um, like. Realistically, most people, well, some people probably couldn't carry, depending on the person, they couldn't carry 275 pounds, or maybe even 183 pounds. So set a re realistic weight limit for yourself, 
And let's see. Ah. When selling items, then sell to res their respective stores. Like, for instance, don't sell potions to an armorer. I don't, I don't even think you can. But if you, if you have a staff, then sell it to a magic staff store. Don't just sell it to a general item store. Only sell like miscellaneous and clothes to a general store. Yeah. And that is all I have for this time, guys. I hope that was helpful. Goodbye. Have a good evening, week, weekend, month, summer, everything else. Goodbye.